But if we look a little bit further, normally we show you the nice places. But today <laughs> it's washing day, so it's literally you have to clean everything by hand. Yeah. <laughs> We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We're approaching the cut. Uh, in preparation, I started this engine as well so that we, that we have at least some engine power, I can reduce this one. So both of them is now 1,800. So I normally have both engines on, for in case we lose an engine, then we have another engine there. And it's always better to have too much power, but know how to control it, right? So we will just control the power and only use it when we need it. Hopefully we will don't need all of it full speed, but you never know. It's better to have both rudders, the propeller wash over both rudders, so both rudders is reactive against a current that's flowing or generated by the propellers than just normal flow of water, because if we go through the cat and the current is behind us, then our boat speed through the water will get reduced and then that also influenced the rudder reaction. So, let's see. This cut was never, I think one, one time it was a challenge, but yeah, so we are now going through this cut maybe for the last time this year. Um, I'm almost pretty confident the last time this year that we were going through this cut. Okay, we're now inside the cut or we're just going through the cut. It is like, it's a pretty nifty thing you have to go through there, there, there. But let us, <laughs> let's assume this is cut proper, so that's the route we're going to go through. And if I look here... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Turn to waypoint, yes. So if I look at the tide, I think we're now actually at low tide and might even be slack tide. So, because the current here is non-existent and normally around here it will be like a stream either going that way or coming this way and our speed has not really been affected you can see it says the 0.4 knots Ooh, there you can see 0.4 knots so it's not much it's not even coming through so oh. I'm starting to get through from the front. So, plan your thing, plan your trip properly and you will not have a problem coming through the cut. But also it is so quiet, no wind at all. Um, but I will, I will raise the main as we get out of here. And see if we can maybe get some sailing or a little bit of motor sailing done. Okay, we just went through the cut. Over there is the cut. And guess what? Look at this. We are sailing and we're on reef one. <coughs> because I'm not sure what these clouds will do later on. But with nine knots of wind. We're doing five knots boat speed and look like there's a little bit of a current pushing us so we're doing actually quite okay for reef one in ten knots of true wind. <laughs> I just love it. I think it's time to put the fishing lines out so let's go put the fishing lines out.
this is a big one. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> pretty, pretty big. Looks like a Bali or something. We want to catch Wahoo. What is this little Canada dry tonic bottle is doing here? So what's happening is I've got a string connected to that, to the bottle, tied to the bottle, and a string as well as here. So what will happen is if a fish pull this one, the bungee will stretch, and when the bungee stretch, it will pull this out, and this one will make a huge racket like. And we know, fish on. Not that it happened that often, but we are always positive. So let's put it on. Our trigger is there. What's up, Captain? I'm reversing, but it's not reversing. <laughs> <laughs> we are sailing. Jeez. We haven't been sailing a lot lately. And it's supposed, oh, today is the hurricane started. Yeah, season. today is the start of the hurricane season. You're right. I shouldn't joke about this. Yeah. Well, we're not doing too bad. Nine knots of apparent wind. Not two wind. We're doing 5.8 and we're on reef. Yeah. This is very good. And the sea is nice. <laughs> A little bit of yours, but not too bad. And I'm working on the app, the boat checks app, and it is like, a, oh man, you see all these red lines, squigglies, they are errors, so I need to first fix that. But it's coming along. We arrived here at Leaf Key. So over here is Leaf Key, behind those little islands or keys there is the Atlantic and this is Leaf Key, basically the Iguana Key. So just around this corner lots of iguanas, iguana boats is normally going there and so on um, and the people normally anchor on that side of the island but since we have this kind of like erratic, no wind situation, <laughs> we can anchor basically anywhere. So we decided to anchor over here, obviously, because we're drifting here at the anchor. <laughs> and this is just a nice spot. The water is still beautiful. We woke up. And <laughs> there is a rainbow, but it's coming for us. I hold still and Pietro can zoom in. Okay, zoomed in. You see the rainbow? I zoom out. Okay. <laughs> but it is, besides all these dark clouds, a very beautiful morning out here. Water is calm. The sea is nice, it is blue, lots of little birds. We just lifted anchor, we were anchored there and we went all around and I just need to make sure that I don't hit that sandbank and then we will go out, out of the cut and then on our way there. So as you can see, on our way to Georgetown, this is Lee Stocking Island. That is Leaf Key. There you can see it. Leaf Key. Oh, just make sure that's it. We need to start turning. 
Okay, I'm going to start turning, but we've got the main app. So, and we saw on reef one. As soon as we're out of there, out of the cut there, we will bring out the Genoa. Because there's too many turns now. And you don't want to you don't want the Genoa to be in the way of this little you see this shifting sands and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do now manually here. Yeah? Ooh, I hope we turn. So that's about 45 degrees, right? So let's say 50. So that line I'm looking at that line, that looks 45. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. And the sun is now very, very bad, but we need to get just past that island with the little spire. That was supposed to be a light, lighthouse. Let's see if this 50 worked. It looks okay. Maybe five more that way. And I'm checking there, 55, this is 55, is our direction good? Well, maybe you see the blue line, there's a current, and the wind is pushing us that way, so we've got a little bit, so I'm going to put 5 degrees to the starboard, let's see how this works. Yeah, that looks almost right. We're still going to eat, but I think... Uh, five, four. But anyway, so I need to get my glasses out because it's just terrible looking in that direction. Um, but the cloud is coming out. Lots of rain last night, lots of wind last night. We did not sleep last night, really. Got a stiff neck. But yeah, the winds was coming up very badly, and then at one point it was, we had side swell, so... That happened at two o'clock, and then since then it's just running around, running around. But that's boat life, I think. <laughs> it's like a neighbor's dog or something, barking the whole night. <laughs> was just like the wind slapping and then we had the roll and yeah it was not good but let me give let me put some attention to on the screen and see where we're going because we're going to get now very close to those islands and the cut chat to you later engines are off Props are feathered and we are sailing, we're not doing too bad, um, not really everything trimmed yet. You see, none of those things are flying, so let me trim the sails a little bit and see what we can do. I think I need to bring this one up a little bit more. Just like a little bit. There we go, so it's still to fly. Ah, that looks good. better, much better. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> and the wind. I think this clouds, this this is a big thunderstorm. I think this is this is now making a wind shift, so we need to be very vigilant. If this wind is going to shift too much, it means that is going to hit us. Oh man. It never rains, it pours. <laughs> okay, the wind, the wind just picked up. I think this storm is busy coming for us. So I also reefed the Genoa. So the Genoa is also now, I think, pretty, <laughs> pretty deeply reefed. Um, normally if it's to the sticker that means it's reef 2 so it's now at reef 2 that one the main is still up here but I can always depower it so I am ready to depower it the moment so this one is ready so the moment I get 
I get a feeling we're going to get overrun or overloaded. Well, we can go up there to 30 knots on reef one. And that one, we can do 35 knots at this moment. So we, we actually quite okay. So we can, we can go quite high before we get, we overload the sails. So for now, I think we're good. Um, normally this one we reef on reef one at 20 knots and then again at 30 knots we bring it down one more so i don't think we're going to get that but for me it's just easy if i do see we get a gust then what i do is i just depower the main completely um, but yeah for now we along for the ride so and i think we're almost ready for, for fishing lines. It looks like infinite depth here. Okay, so it happened. I depowered the main almost completely. You can see it's almost straight with the wind. I also depowered the Genoa. It just doesn't feel nice. But yeah, we are actually reefed for this, so we're not we're not too bad off, but yeah, the gust is coming up all the way to 30 knots. And that we had a long time ago, <laughs> 30 knots of wind while we're sailing. Everything looks okay. Wow, <laughs> that was quick and I even had to drop this, but you can see not completely done correctly. Yeah. Let me do some more. One indicator I use to see whether the main is overpowered is looking at the rudder control. So if the rudder control goes, that's five degrees, the little, the little marker over there, that's five degrees. That's still okay, but it, when it gets to 10 degrees, then you definitely know the main is, is spiking and beating. So as you can see, <laughs> the whole top is fine. It's actually depowered. And then it's only the, the bottom part that's still working. Yep. Um, and of course the healing of Sisu. Yep. 